Hi, I'm Nick Peterson, and for over 20 years, I've been a part of the welding industry. I've been a student, a welder, a welding engineer, a sales associate, even an author. The welding industry offers a multitude of opportunities for a motivated person. There are a number of exceptional welding education programs throughout the country. There are also scholarships available, like the ones offered through the American Welding Society to help you finance your degree, like it helped me. And don't worry about getting a job. A recent study indicated that there'll be a need for over 250,000 welders throughout the next decade. If you're thinking about a new career, now couldn't be a better time to get into welding. In the following videos, you'll hear from three college students, Joe, Carissa, and Robert, who all have their own reasons for pursuing a career in welding. I'm from Heartland, Michigan, and I grew up in a large family. I am the oldest of seven, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. I like sleeping. I like uh, working on cars. Probably I like fishing the most. Um, it's nice and relaxing. It reminds me of welding a lot because when you put the hood down, it's a real quiet, docile activity. Graduated in 2006. Um, then I came to Washtenaw Community College. I didn't really know what I wanted to be. And I knew that I liked hands-on things. I liked a lot of uh, mechanical things. So I enrolled in a welding class at Washtenaw, and I really liked the program. Playing with fire, you know, as a kid, you know, I liked that. And then you come in here and you're using tools, you know, the heat, melting steel, you know, and just, I like working with metal, and I just love to see what it can do and what it can't do, you know. I like just to push it to its utter limits. As I progressed, you know, in the classes, a few instructors here noticed that, you know, I enjoyed it and that they said, well, there's a skills program. Would you like to get involved with it? And it paid off. I ended up taking first in Michigan, and then I was eligible to go to the national competition. It was a very, very close competition, but I ended up winning, you know. First, I was kind of in shock, you know. I'm like, no way, you know, it's got to be wrong. You know, you're not going to pick some, you know, hillbilly kid from Hartland, you know. Just, and then I just remember, you know, I'm going to represent the United States of America at an international competition. After I competed in Calgary, Canada and placed second in the world, I was eligible to receive a $40,000 scholarship from the AWS. Currently, I'm working on getting a bachelor's degree in industrial distribution and a teaching certificate for vocational education. I just want to, you know, be nice and normal with a good career doing something I love. That's really what I want at the end of the day, and that's something that welding is going to bring to my life. And I can't ask for much more than that. Um, I grew up in Montana. It's different from any other state. It's God's country. I mean, it's gorgeous up there. I mean, mountains everywhere. Waco's a good place to go to school at, especially at TSC for welding. I like to spend my time playing with my dog, uh, going to the lake, going dancing on Thursday nights, hanging out with my friends. My junior year came around, and I had to pick between welding or mechanics. So I chose to try welding and kind of figure out I was really good at it. Doing the degree here in Texas, I mean, it was a great experience for me to be in a different culture, being in a different environment, and I love the school. Being a woman in the welding program is really difficult. I mean, you gotta prove to the guys that you're good. Um, you gotta stick up for yourself majorly because the guys will pick on you. I've had to prove that I can do it. I mean, they may not believe you until you prove them wrong and show them up. And it's fun, actually. <laughs> The competition for the AWS, American Welding Society, was a rush. <laughs> and like you had five minutes to complete your weld, to clean it. Winning it was amazing. <laughs> Proved to a lot of people in the world that I can weld, and women can weld in this, in a guy's world. Graduating from college is just amazing. <laughs> and it's a great feeling to have accomplished something that you've actually worked really hard for. I have actually two job interviews in Montana. One is I'll be getting paid 28 an hour straight out of college. Um, I'd be working on two inch pipe, TIG welding, and stick welding. My other job would be 20 an hour. I'd be doing flex core and TIG welding. Knowing that I'm going to have a great paying job in Montana is amazing. I mean, I'm really excited for, to start working. I'm really excited to go home. I'm ready to start my career.
Grew up in a small town of Timberville, South Carolina, where it was only me, my grandma, and my sister. Timberville's a small town. They always told me it wasn't where you come from, it's where you're going. My grandma, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and that scared me because me losing my grandmother was almost unimaginable because she was always there for me. I try to help my grandma as much as possible. As I cook for her, I try to pay bills, run errands. She was a real strong believer we had to make something of ourselves. No one really in our family ever went to college or anything, so she was the type of woman who really was pushed us to do something with our life. I like to draw. I love music. I spend time with my family, my girlfriends, but most of all, coaching, mentoring my kids that I work with at the Flaunt Family YMCA. Um, I'm willing to help the kids learn and teach them about principles that could take them a long way because I know how hard it was for me. In school, I was the type of kid who never knew what I wanted to do. I discovered welding from a neighbor across the street. He used to bring stuff home and tell me what welding actually was. And so once I had the chance, I took it as an extracurriculum activity at school. And once I struck my first arc, I fell in love with it. It was like, wow, this is what I'm meant to do. This is what I'm meant to be as a welder. Straight out of high school, I came to Florence Darlington Tech, where I'm choosing welding as a career. I was the first kid in my family to go to college. And it's like, Wow, with this program, they want the best. So they want you to spend a lot of time welding. I want to weld in the Navy because you build things like ships, you build aircrafts, those type of things. And I think it will be a great idea to actually serve my country. I haven't ever been out of South Carolina, but only once. My first job I would take would be out of state, which I would get to travel the world and see different things and learn about different cultures of the world and welding was a career that would allow that to happen. I hear from business and industry around the state and across the nation talking about a shortage of a trained workforce. That's where the two-year community and technical colleges come into play. Our graduates have lots of opportunities uh, from entry-level welders production welders, manufacturing. You'll find that in a four-year institution, it's a lot more book work to be involved, although we do include some book work, but it's mainly hands-on. It's not something that you can, you know, part out. Welding is gonna be a hands-on thing. It's never gonna go away. Graduates can also get into inspection, welding inspection. They can get into sales. They can run their own businesses. Technology students are male, female, all age ranges all different cultures, all different races. And the successful student that we see are the ones that show up on time, work through breaks, are here waiting for our instructors to open the labs. Anybody who has the passion, who wants to learn. The jobs are there for people with the right skill set. And that's where I feel like the community and technical colleges make that difference because we are able to bring the students in train them in the shortest amount of time and put them out in the workforce.